Alright boys and girls, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you on a bit of a tour of the facilities that I'm currently at. Those of you who are new around here, I've played at a D1, a D2 university and now I'm at an NAIA school. So today I'm going to be taking you around the facility, I'm going to be showing you the pitch, the locker room, the weights room, every single facility you could think of basically. They've got pretty much a brand new stadium at this school and I'm also going to be showing you the rest of the stuff, the places that you'd visit on a daily excursion at school in terms of where you're going to eat your food, the treatment room, I'm going to show you the other sports as well, a bit of basketball, a bit of American football and just give you a general idea of how good the facilities are in America because they're pretty impressive. So that's what's going to be happening today. So yeah, let's go get in the car because I got the car today, thank the Lord. Let's get over there. Before we go any further guys, you know what time it is. It's time to talk about the one, the only, Built Bar. I mean, this is essential right now because we've just had a training session and I'm going to be doing this video for you guys, so I'm not going to have time to, you know, get the proper fuel in just now. So this is ideal. Look at the size of it. Basically, it's amazing because it's 100% real chocolate, so you don't have to feel guilty about having a protein carbohydrate bar. It's ideal for refueling after a tough training session. We just played 11 aside, so... I definitely need to be getting some fuel back in my body. And not only that, but it provides you with 17 grams of protein. It also is only 130 calories, so it's pretty much nothing. And lastly, they've got so many flavors that you literally can't not find a built Bar that you like. This one is the coconut. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself some, then go ahead, check out the first link in the description. Use the code GRIFFALO10 for a 10% discount and enjoy them. Anyway, let's get back on with this facilities tour. Hope you're enjoying it so far. It's about to get a lot better. All right, so here we are. We are up by the field, and this is where we're gonna begin our tour. So there you go. That's what it looks like from the front. Walk through those doors, of course, um, and that takes you into the middle section. So ours is on the left, the locker rooms and that. If you go to the right, that's where you got all the football stuff. Of course, we're in America. American football is slightly prioritized, so they get their own section um, and it's a bit fancier in there I'll give you a look at that but I mean the overall building is pretty pretty sharp pretty clean and they've actually left this press box and roof access so I'm gonna sit and have a look up here never been up here before so let's have a gander see what's going on so there's the view from the press box it's pretty sick really isn't it to be fair very nice little room Got microphones, got the scoreboard and all that sort of stuff. That gives you a little view of what it looks like, especially for somebody commentating on game day. So that's pretty swanky. Right, so here's the locker room, as you can see. Uh, fairly, you know, standard, um, but it does the job. Not gonna complain, it is massive. We actually share this with lacrosse, so because it's the spring semester right now, um, it's got all the lacrosse stuff in it, as you can see. Like there's whatever that is called, a lacrosse stick, I guess. When the fall comes around, it'll be just us in here. Um, but yeah, got to keep it relatively clean for lacrosse and that. Of course, ping pong table. That is, I mean, unbelievable. You use that space. Bathroom, showers, again, pretty brand new. So all nice in there. You know, we don't really care about that. What we care about is getting outside, showing you guys the field, the pitch, whatever you want to call it, the stands, because it's pretty sick, so let's get out there. So as we first step out, as you can see, it is a little banner up the Spartans. This comes down into the middle. There's sort of like a little clubhouse in between. I'll take you in here real quick, show you this. <coughs> Once again, very standard. Um, this is on a game day. There'll be like concessions and stuff. So like, you know, like food and drinks. Look at that. Just through these windows, you can see the pitch out there looking beautiful. So let's get out there. Walking out onto the pitch, it's pretty sick because it's got this bit above us. So when we're playing, there'll be people above there, hopefully, as long as we can get some supporters. Um, so that'd be pretty sick walking out of there onto the pitch, onto the pitch. Look at that. Lovely jubbly i mean it's got everything it's got a lot of lines on it not gonna lie it can get a bit confusing i know a lot of you guys from england um, or internationals are a bit, get a bit worried about those lines and it is a bit odd because we actually play on the black line not the white line so that did confuse me the first couple of times i was playing here but 
yeah, lovely turf. In terms of equipment, stuff like that, there's a storage room. I think it's locked right now, so I won't be able to show you that, but it's got everything. It's got mannequins, obviously footballs. The only other part that I want to show you is down here, the far end, there is a weight gym. I'm not sure whether it's going to be open. Hopefully we can get a sneak peek, but that's sort of down near the American football section of the building. So we'll go and have a cheeky look, see if that's open, and hopefully I can show you what that looks like. I think I might have just lock myself out of the locker room. Uh, yeah, I think I just lock myself out. So here's the football side of the stadium, looking pretty swanky. There's a football locker room. And so that's the overall look at the stadium. As you can see over there, that's where the rest of the university is. So I'm going to take you there right now. Not bad, eh? Are you off? You got class? All right, see you, bro. Hey, ciao. Ciao, ciao. That's just dice, mate. Purple dice. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Jarvis. 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 Oh, I'm the legend around. They know me. <laughs> Fresh ideas legend. Yes, sir. Love it. Hey, bro. Thank you, scholarship. <laughs> what is this? Cheese. Fresh keto. Hi, I'm Fresh keto. <laughs> Cheers, bro. That was the esports for here, and then opposite is the other weights room. Here we are. So that's the second gym, and um, that's where we do, or at least my group does weights. The other group do it in the one over by the field. That's just due to availability. Now let's go over to the main athletic building, show you the court for basketball and uh, the track, the gym, also maybe the treatment room. So this is just the little track bit. There's a court. Standard. I think the boys got the uh, conference championship a couple of weeks ago, so congrats to them. But yeah, that is the courts. And then this is the top layer of this building. Go down, obviously the layer below is where the court is. And then there's a basement and that is where the training room and the gym is. So I'll go show you that now. Got everything you could need. So this is the gym just for like every athlete can come in here, but also for us when the weights room shut, we can come in here and do a bit extra. Pretty good facilities down here. So I'm in the car now, that is it. That is the facilities tour of an NAIA school. I've shown you the football, the soccer, the basketball, the gyms, the esports, but you didn't think you're going to see that in this video. So if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below your favorite part of the facilities of the tour. And remember, do it for the love of the game. Peace.